In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step how to launch an Amazon FBA business. So be sure that you stay tuned. Hey guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon FBA seller from beautiful San Diego. Thank you for tuning in for another one of my videos. In my channel, I do post about Amazon FBA and other relatable topics as requested. I do take requests from my uh, followers, so if there's anything that you guys want me to cover in the future, please go ahead and submit it in the comments below. Also, if you find this video and other videos on my channel valuable, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video and share this video with your friends. In this video, I'll be showing you guys step-by-step step how to launch an Amazon FBA business a few things that you should watch out for and a few things that you should definitely do before launching your Amazon business. Now let's talk briefly about what Amazon FBA is. FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon and it is a concept where you launch or sell your own products on Amazon and have Amazon fulfill the orders for you. Now one great statistic is that over 75% of all Amazon sellers do earn between 100,000 to a million dollars. Now you may say, well, that's a big gap. That is just a statistics. However, also a lot of Amazon beginner sellers fail and simply because they don't know what they don't know. And it is exactly why I tell everyone that you need to find a mentor, someone that will actually guide you through the process, that will actually show you the blueprints of how to successfully do this, right? Because regardless of what it is, regardless of what kind of business it is, if you haven't done it before, you just probably will be missing out on one part of it or two parts of it or a few different parts of it that are just not going to make sense for you and you're probably not going to be able to make it on your own. But let's go ahead and jump into exactly what are some steps that you need to take in order for you to launch a successful product on Amazon. Number one thing is tools. You have to utilize Amazon FBA tools in order for you to actually make your life easier and you know accelerate the learning curve and you know go to the part where you're actually making money and everyone is happy right now some of those tools could be used for product research for product analysis for product tracking and also for launching your product and optimizing your listings now in the description below I do have some links to those tools uh, number one is going to be uh, Jungle Scouts. Number two is a service that I personally use and I definitely recommend, uh, which is um, Foster FBA, which is a company that will actually kind of do it all for you. You know, they will, they can even help with your product research and they will also launch your product. And not to mention, they will uh, optimize your listing and find you keywords um, to launch your product. After you have acquired a set of tools that will help you succeed or accelerate your learning curve and get you to the time where you're actually making profits and everyone is happy, it is time for you to start product research. And that is where all the fun begins. With product research, you have to know exactly what your target is, right? You can't be all over the place. You can't be looking for products that sell for $100 and products that sell for $20. You need to, you know, to bring down your target audience or your target product and know exactly what it is that you are looking for, create your own criteria, and then tackle, um, you know, product research using the tools that you have acquired and it will just pretty much filter it all down for you and you know uh, only shoot at you the products that you are looking for. Now at the end of this video I actually will have um, the little like suggested for you videos and that is about my product research criteria. That is the exact criteria that I and all of my students use to start researching for products so be sure that, that you guys stay until the end and then you will get that um, link at the end of this video. The next thing will be creating your listing and optimizing it, okay? And that all starts with pictures. You have to have great pictures. And in order for you to do that, you know, there are a couple options. There's kind of like the low option or the cheap option, and then there's the little bit more expensive option, depending on your 
uh, budget, you know, I suggest you do things accordingly, right? Number one, which is the cheap option, which is pretty much spying on your competitors' products and their listings and acquiring some of their pictures and then, you know, maybe either using the same design or at least getting an idea of a design and then pretty much editing your own uh, product pictures inside of those um, images using a website called Fiverr.com. I'm pretty sure many of you guys know it. It is uh, spelled as F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Um, you can literally get a lot of things done for $5, which is why it is called five, uh, Fiverr. Um, option number two would be going the little bit more expensive route, but that is kind of the more professional route, which is finding a photographer, which, it, you know, whether if it's someone online or a local photographer where they will actually take pictures of your product that are, you know, professionally done, that are, you know, pictures of the of your actual product, and then you can also get them edited at Fiverr. Now, that may cost a little bit, but you get what you pay for. And then also part of the listing is, you know, creating a great and flawless listing. And it all starts with your title. Your title must be between 80 to 120 characters, right? The second thing, and then also actually going back to the title, you need to make sure that you put all the keywords, the main keywords that you are trying to rank for in your title. The second part is going to be your product description or your product features. And that's five different slots where you can put in features about your product, describe your product. Um, each one cannot exceed 120 characters to a total of 500 characters. Now, going into your product description, it is also a research field, a keyword research field. So what you want to do is you want to fill it up as much as you want um, because, um, you know, Amazon until now does not have an exact keyword count that your product description has to be within. However, do utilize HTML codes because those are very important. Another thing that I want to emphasize on is your product um, or, or your search terms, your backend search terms. Only in search, I mean insert uh, search terms in your uh, in the area where it says search terms, right? And you will locate that under keywords when you go to editing your product listing. Now that only allows you to insert 250 uh, characters, so be sure that you are very selective. Don't use uh, plurals. So let's say if you're selling glasses, just put glass because Amazon's algorithm will index for you know singular and plural. That will save you some room. And then it's 250 characters, not including spaces. And now you have found your product. You have created a flawless listing. Now it's part to launching your product. This is probably one of the most important parts because regardless of how good your product is or how great your listing is, if you don't launch your product, your lawn, your product will just rotten in Amazon's warehouse. So you literally have to launch your product. Now, a lot of things go into launching. Number one, you have to get some reviews. Do not go for unverified reviews, only verified. And then you also need to do giveaway in order for you to start ranking in the algorithm because the way that Amazon's algorithm works, the more sales you have, the more reviews you have, the higher in the rankings you show, right? And in order for you to do that, you have to do a giveaway because simply if you are in the back of the pages where no one can even see you, how exactly are you going to generate sales? There's also another trick that you could do, which is PPC. Sometimes that can get expensive, which is why it'll bring me back to my you know, first point of saying that you have to need or you need to have a mentor that will guide you through the process that will actually show you the way and that will, you know, show you exactly how it's done. That way you accelerate your learning curve. That way you minimize your uh, risk and maximize your profits. So guys, thank you again for tuning in. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, the first link in the description is going to be to a webinar that I have put together for you guys that will show you exactly step by step how I have been able to succeed on Amazon and provide success to many of my students and how my students were able to scale from zero to six and seven figures within a few short months. 
So if that is something you guys are interested in, I would suggest that you guys click on the first link in the description. Aside from that, drop your comments in the comment section below and let me know what other videos you guys want to see from this channel, whether if it's about Amazon FBA or other topics, I would love to share with you guys what you all need. Now the question of the day, what part of Amazon FBA do you struggle with? Is it, you know, locating products? Is it creating a listing? Is it launching products? Maybe even, you know, locating a mentor, right? So whatever that struggle is, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. I would love to help you guys out and would love to answer all of your questions. Guys, once again, Bashar Ketu here from um, San Diego. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a great day.